Bigfoot is a mobile phone. Freeze! LA is MacBooks and iPads. Good morning to all of you guys and thank you so much for supporting and watching our videos. Today we're going to reformat the desktop and laptop and through this installation process uh, we hope that uh, you will also learn on how you're going to repair your own laptop or computer. So we have here right now a desktop computer. So um, before we're going to begin the installation process uh, remember that we should have this USB dongle or stick. It has the Windows 10 operating system. So I made a bootable uh, USB stick. It's a Windows 10 one. So I have this 32 and 64 bit version of the Windows 10 here with this USB stick. So we're going to do it uh, step by step. So it actually depends on the model or the brand of your devices or motherboard. So let's put it first in the USB port. Okay. Then in order for you to access uh, the USB stick as your first option to boot, you need to uh, enter your BIOS setup settings. And entering the BIOS setup settings would depend on the motherboard that you have. Just like for my own here, my mo own motherboard. Um, I do have the F2 or function keys 2 in order for me to um, enter the BIOS setup. Alright, so we'll just keep on pressing the F2 button. Ah, right, there you go. So I have here right now the Windows, I mean the BIOS set, setup utility box where we can find um, the boot sequence. So uh, whenever that you find this uh, set up utility box just go on to the boot option and make sure that the first boot device uh, would be your USB stick the one that I I'm using is uh, the TDK F10 so this is hard drive will become your second boot device all right as you can see here so after that just press the exit button or tab then save changes and exit press enter save configuration all right ganun lang guys ang uh, pagpasok niyo sa uh, bias setup iba-iba kasi yung um, keys kung paano makapasok doon sa bias okay so mag-start na yan ito antay na natin diretso na siya magbubut na siya from the USB stick so, marami ang benefits na makukuha nyo kapag uh, matutunan nyo mag-reformat. Kasi may mga viruses na minsan uh, sumisira sa mga devices natin, sa mga laptop, mga desktop. So, instead of looking or getting like a technician, mas maganda kung ikaw na yung gagawa. Makatipid ka na, o, meron ka pang skill, di ba, na mandidevelop. So, ito na yung gamit ko. Uh, click ko lang English. Ayan, yun yung version. Ang dami pang ano, maaga pa. So, uh, click nyo lang yung install. Ayan, as uh, setup is starting na. So, dito, makita natin yung uh, step by step na gagawin natin. Kaya, huwag kayo mag kung first time nyo mag-install ng uh, desktop computer nyo. Ayan. So, dun sa ginamit ko kasi na installer, I have three different Windows 10 version here. So, meron siyang 32-bit at 64-bit. Marami namang madadownload na nito. Pero, ang, syempre, ang advice ko is get the original. So, ang gagamitin ko ay 64-bit. Kasi yung motherboard ko at processor uh, supported din naman niya ang 64 bit. So, click lang natin I accept. Ayan. Then, next. Okay. Ayan. So, custom. Ang gagay natin kasi nga, a fresh installation to. So, buburahin natin lahat uh, yung mga previous drives na nandito. 
Ngayon guys, dito, kapag may importante kayong files at halimbawa nasa drive D, pwede nyo huwag galawin yung drive D. Yung drive silang ang i-delete nyo. Ganun. Pero kapag wala namang importanteng files, just like the one that I have, I have here, uh, there's no important file. So, I will just uh, remove everything, delete everything para mag-create na lang tayo ng bagong um, uh, drives. So, i-delete natin yan. Kasi kadalasan, pag matatagal na yung computer, nasa drive D yung mga files. Pero pag wala sa drive D at may gusto kayong i- i-backup, ayan, at nagbubot pa naman yung computer, ilagay nyo muna sa drive D para ma-retrieve nyo din o magamit nyo yung mga previous files na important. Importante. Okay, so, magkikreate tayo ng partition. Uh, 500 gigabytes yung uh, size ng aking hard drive. So, di-divide lang natin to. Nasa sa inyo kung ano yung size na gusto nyo. Uh, sa akin, kadalasan, hinahati ko siya sa 200 and then the remaining is something like 250. Yan, yeah, mga ganun. So, uh, gigabytes to. Alright. So, ganun lang. Yan, new. So, yung pagkikreate nasa inyo yun kung gaano kalaki yung size. Ito na. Pwede nyo i-format na dito. O mamaya, pwede kayong mag-format. So, next na lang natin para mag-install na. So, dito, mga siguro 10 to 15 minutes. Depende sa bilis or sa specification ng device nyo. Matatapos nyo ang installation. Ganun lang kabilis, guys. So, um, habang ano, nag-install, pwede tayong magkape. No? Um, mag-snacks, ganun. Habang binabantayan nyo yung um, pag-install niya. So, uh, tuturo ko din dito yung ilang mga possibilities kung bakit kailangan na i-customize o personalize yung settings. Kasi ang Windows 10, guys, madalas na itong mag-update So, pag nag-update minsan, nag, may mga naapekto kang mga other applications. For example, kung meron kang mga editing app, like Photoshop, um, AutoCAD, yung mga yon minsan naapekto kang pag nag-update nag uh, siya. So, ito turn off ko yon Papakita ko sa inyo paano mag-turn off ng uh, automatic updates. Alright, so, antayin lang natin to Ayan guys, so, um, pinabilis ko lang to. Binalikan natin at 80% na siya. Okay. So kapag uh, uh, may mga error sa pag-install nyo, misal may mga labalabas na error, um, i-double check nyo lang yung... Uh, USB stick nyo, baka hindi naka asaksak na maayos. Or, there might be a problem already with your hard drives. If it does have uh, bad, bad sectors, for example, then it may be very difficult for you to do a uh, fresh installation. So, what you can do, you can try to maybe divide the uh, the hard drive in more uh, like uh, partitions you could try three or four partitions then try installing the windows uh, whichever you preferred to use kasi may mga ganun talaga na yung unang um, portion ng hard drive pag may mga bad sectors nag -e error siya um hindi na ma-installan. Pero minsan naman, gumagana kapag ka uh, pinili mong installan yung mga a portion na nandun na sa gitna. Ay, ganun. Yan. So, uh, tapos, kapag ka 
CD naman, yung iba kasi CD pa ang ginagamit. Minsan nagasgas na yung mga CD, kaya hindi uh, tumutuloy, hindi natatapos yung pag-install nila. So, sana marami kayong matutunan dito. Uh, kasi, ngayon, lalo na pandemic, <laughs> mahirap ka maghanap ng mga technician. Uh, gusto rin natin maging cautious kasi nga sa ating health. So, kadalasan, uh, di, di uh, IY tayo. Do it your own self, sabi nga nila. At kung uh, marami namang mga tutorial, pwede natin gawin. Okay. So, 95% na siya. Ayan, 100 na. Okay. At ang kagandaan naman kasi ng Windows 10, um, most of the drivers needed for the motherboard to run are already supported uh, with this version. Unlike with Windows 7, Windows 8, sometimes we need, you need to look for the drivers, the specific drivers from the internet in order for a certain uh, hardware to work. Okay, so mag start na siya dito guys. Um, tanda natin, kapag nag-restart to, tanggalin na natin agad yung USB. Okay? Para mag-boot na siya dun sa hard drive. Ito, tatanggalin ko na. Uh, sa likod. Okay? So, yan. Mag-run mag, uh, na siya from its own hard drive. Okay? So, Windows 10 na siya. Ayan, ayan na. Windows 10 na. So, ganun lang kadali, uh, mga kaibigan, mga katek dyan, ng pag install ng desktop, laptop, computers. Ayan. So, makikita niyo after nito, mayroon ng uh, audio. Uh, yung iba, mayroon na yung driver ng uh, graphic card nila. Yung built-in uh, graphic card. So, mayroon namang iba na wala. Kasi nga, uh, yung mga motherboards like for example it has a uh, dedicated video chip a video card uh, commonly you need to download it manually from the internet yan yung mga ganung mga um, video card pero dito sa akin built in to uh, pero nvidia so uh, siguro wala hindi niya ito supported i need to download that manually okay so antay niyo lang guys yan Getting device ready. Tapos may mga instruction pa dyan na kailangan nating uh, i-select okay. para matapos yung installation. So, ilang minuto lang. Ang bilis lang pag install nito. So, pwede nyo nang gawin. At huwag kayong uh, mag-worry kasi wala naman kayong ditong masusunog. Yan. Wala kayong uh, walang puputok dito. Okay. So, simple lang. So, uh, kapag ka naman mag-install kayo ng Microsoft Office or other applications, uh, marami na ngayon, um, i-download nyo lang yung Microsoft version na gusto nyo gamitin, then install nyo lang. Install nyo lang. Okay. So, dito sa portion na to guys, uh, medyo mahaba-haba siya kasi nga, um, yung mga na-install na niya na mga files dun sa hard drive, ay uh, kinukonfigure na, siya, na niya dun sa mga hardwares. Yan. Even with the softwares. Yan. Okay. So, ganun lang kasimple. Ngayon, kung wala kayong Windows 10 um, operating system, mag-comment lang kayo o magtanong lang kayo, then I will send you the link. I will send you uh, where I commonly get those uh, downloaded operating system. Alright, so ito na. <coughs> Ayan, nag-restart siya guys. So, normal lang yan. Uh, minsan, 2 to 3 times siya mag-start. Because, again, um, it's still installing and configuring the drivers uh, for its hardware or parts. But you just need to wait to complete the uh, installation process. Okay. 
so there's really a lot of um, benefits again uh, for still using the the desktop or laptop compared with other devices like mobile phones kasi nahagawian na natin to eh gumamit ng mga laptop ng mga desktop lalo na pagka work from home ka then uh, all of a sudden in the middle of your work nag corrupt or nag crash ang yung device then uh, na mahirap pag hindi mo alam mag reinstall maghahanap ka pa okay so ito na yung setting niya so uh, commonly ginagamit ng iba user express lang pero ako kasi kino-customize ko siya dito tiniturn off ko siya yung mga like windows update tiniturn off ko na siya dito kasi maliban sa nag kumakain siya ng maraming data from your uh, bandwidth so uh, yun nga naapektuhan pa niya yung mga settings ng ibang applications so i commonly turn it off Alright, nandito lang yan. And one thing that I like with the Windows 10 operating system is that it has already a built-in or embedded um, antivirus or the Windows Defender which is very strong. Uh, Napakatindi nito guys. Hindi basta-basta ito na ba virus. Kasi pagsalpak mo pa lang ng USB mo, kahit sa anong website ka pumasok, kung may malware or spyware dyan na detect niya agad so maganda to kahit wala kang antivirus you are secure and protected with this window system so just a moment sabi okay so antayin lang natin guys hanggang sa may pakita ko sa inyo the whole screen of windows including its desktop Ayan. Para maganda yung pag-install natin. Okay. Andito na tayo sa uh, username setup. So, uh, lagyan ko lang to ng username. Then, uh, pwede na rin kayo maglagay dito ng password nyo to protect the desktop if it's your personal computer or laptop. Uh, Napaka-importante yan. Okay, so naglulus lang yung keyboard ko. Uh, salpak ko lang ulit. And so, malapit na guys. Malapit na tayo matapos. So, ayan, mga tama. Hanggang 20 minutes nga. Almost 20 minutes. Siguro to. Pag-install natin. Ayan na. So, kapag... Um, yung desktop uh, computer laptop nyo is high specs talaga yung mga gaming ganun napakabilis lang nito napakabilis lang mga 10 minutes lang siguro tapos na kayo mag install ok so uh, wait lang natin guys yung uh, pinaka desktop nya pero dito pa lang uh, pinasasalamatan ko lang kayo sa panonood nyo ng tutorial video na ito Sana nakatulong ito sa inyo para ma-fix ang inyong mga laptop at mga desktop computers. At kung nagustuhan nyo yung video, paki-share, like, at paki-subscribe na din. Salamat sa inyo guys sa panonood.